All right, this is where things get a little squirrely right here. Oh, what's that? The grab of the thousand, that's what it is. <laughs> he was underneath the car, and he stayed underneath my car. I drove over to Aventura to go to the doctor. And just as I was finna take off, I heard something. Clack, 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 clack. It was the iguana. Gosh. Going, sir. Go on, remove them. We want to give a special thanks to FX Air Guns, the M3 power right here. PCP air rifles, guys, able to use and eliminate some of these packs. Florida, home of beaches, hot weather, and now. Wild Iguanas. What is going on guys? It's your friend Raj, the Iguana Man. And thanks for checking out the Iguana Man YouTube channel. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be going to some iguana removal house calls in the city of Fort Lauderdale. Oh, he's right there on that rock. Yeah, let me get the panther right quick. Yeah. Hello. This tree right here? Look at it. This lady has a nice house. There's no body of waters nearby or big fruit trees that are in bloom. However, there are a lot of iguanas that live around her house, primarily underneath the shed. I'm all right. Uh huh. They go back and forth on the road. They all look. Yeah, I've seen they're big, they've been getting very close to the house, huh? See the little one, yeah. So that means it's a mama somewhere right up in there. See, that's an avocado pear tree on my neighbor yard. So they eat them avocado pears on the other side of my fence. They come all over the place. All right, okay. so you can take them, take them out. You want me to go over here? Yep. Go. All right, there goes. All right, there goes. There goes that guy. Could be a hole underneath there, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure they done dug a hole. Like, on a good day, how many do you think are out here? Is it like 10 to 20 of them, you say? Yeah, when that day I called you, that video I took, it was 10 in the front yard. Got that one that was in this avocado tree. Any eyes on that little guy that ran up there? Abandoned car right here. Used as like some type of structure for iguanas. I did see one run up in here. Right there is what you gotta watch out for. Yep. Disturb one of them. Yep, and you'll be in a situation. Push out. Not today. Very territorial little lizard not big but he's the one like he's definitely the one that's just hanging out in your front yard and oh, okay then i can see them they come all out to the outside of the tree where you can see them they breeding bad because it's all different sizes things gonna come out all right i don't know Wait, wait, wait. He was underneath the car and he stayed underneath my car. I drove over to Aventura to go to the doctor. And just as I was finna take off, I heard something. Clack, 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 clack. It was Iguana. I heard him because he hit the underneath carriage. He just, oh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely like a more dominant one 
out of these ones. These, I think these are the female ones. That might be the male. But thank you for that piece of information about that iguana jumping under your uh, car yeah. because... And they'll hang on underneath your car, go for a ride, and then... I'm going to give y'all some props on Facebook. Uh, it's pretty wild. All right, well, thank you. We're going back to another job. Stay tuned. We'll be back here soon. Next job we're going to is an iguana trying to break into a pool. Thankfully, our customer has a gate. Closer to residents' homes, and some people are just not with that. They don't want iguanas by their pool and pooping. So we get hired to go out there and see if we can take them out. Hey. 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 They're the two most excited kids to see you at all times. Don't scare it off. Hold on, hold on. Yep. He, he, he walked the entire um, perimeter of this. But boy. look at this dump that he made right here. This Look at that little guy right there. Look at that right there. You see them in the yard, but of course, you know, they just kind of the fence. You see it? Let me open it. Yeah. Should they? I'll leave. I them. got a gun. You guys have to you see inside, okay? You got a gun too? Okay. Yeah, let's. Hold on. Oh. All right, this is where things get a little squirrely right here. Just guarding the fence. Oh, you have a good shot. All right, there he is. I'm gonna just get him. I see that, dude. Wow. Oh, there he is right there. Iguanas, like other tropical reptiles, love the water. If you have a pool, I highly recommend you get a perimeter fence around it to prevent from iguanas from defecating in it. I had a single doubt in my mind that he would have went inside the pool. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I mean, that has to be a big one. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, buddy. There he is. Oh my God. We got him. So got to make sure to sanitize this mess. <laughs> uh, customers that have pools, yeah. just get this pool fence, you know? Yeah. Saving the pool, and that's great. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, yes. Yeah. If there's more iguanas, just let me know, all right? What is that? There's a big, there's a massive school of fish right here. They're coming right up to me. Wow. What kind of purple fish right here. There's a lot of, guys, there's a lot of fish right in this area. There's like 30 of them. I don't know if those are peacock fish. Goannas and fish. Maybe they want food. Let's see if we have any food. Along with the iguana trapping, we do do some fishing as well. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, we got some spots with some pretty big monsters. But until then, let's go ahead, get these iguanas out these traps and into the bag. Three traps, three iguanas. Not bad. Be the alpha. You were meant to be. Trapping might be the best method to get a lot of them on a short amount of time and for long-term success. We're always trying to test some stuff right now. If you got any other ideas, drop a comment, let me know. He's right there. But there are other ones that are coming out right now in this in this uh, sun shower. So I'm optimistic right now. We already caught four of them. If we can get the rest of these guys, I think it's gonna be a huge success. It's really all we're trying to do is perfect it. We know that we need a top for it. All right, guys, the other ones are small. We're gonna try to seal the trap right here with these guys in here. Okay, we got it. Right, calm down. All right, guys, we got them. He's gonna try to go underneath it. For it so, so they can't they cl climb out yeah they want to start thinking about it they want to climb out there you go we got him now guys oh yeah Hey 
Got them. Now we're heading to another house call. Well, we got some iguanas that are trapped in the outside patio space. I think it's called a atrium or aviary or something, but shoot, it's got iguanas. Hey, what's going on, guys? Your friend Roger the Iguana Man here, and I'm back at you guys with another video. I'm with that boy Iguana Ninja. Uh, what it is, what it is. House call with iguanas breaking and entering an atrium or some type of living space that's outside. I'm not sure. Race of iguanas all the time, and today we're about to show you guys a real issue with a real customer dealing with a real iguana problem. So tell us a little bit about what's going on over here. So these little guys are like, I guess, sneaking up on top here and then like falling in and getting yeah. stuck. Whoa, it's like four right. of them. That's crazy. So we got a mama, someone's brother, and two siblings. Like yeah, for real, that's what it looks like. That's what I was thinking. There's a quick grab and a smack and a... So this is the atrium thing right here. Oh, okay. I guess each house has their own yeah. one. I think one of those are probably on top of these. That's the real question. Where's right. the mesh? Just like how this is a mesh? I right, just put a mesh should over be a there. Should a mesh right there. Oh, maybe because there's a satellite or something. Oh, let's see these little guys. <coughs> wow. You shed it. It's an iguana. And some babies. All right, CJ, job well done. Not tonight. Not tonight, buddies. Like, slowly, we had three yesterday, and then this morning we were four. Question? Yeah. Uh, how come there's no, like, mesh covering? That's how they build all the houses here. Next door neighbor has a mesh on their lower part. Uh -huh. they, had it, they took it off. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we have to get our roof fixed. Yeah. So I'm saying when we get the roof fixed. Yeah. You that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. Right, Stay guys. tuned because as the weather heats em. up, so is the iguana activity. And we got That's breeding season and egg season among us. So you already know we're going to be very busy out there in the field. And I'd yeah, love for you to join along. So like, comment, and subscribe if you're new.